So I'm hauling a drone uh, with a fuel cell technology on board instead of a, a battery. So we've uh, integrated the fuel cells to give an extended um, flight time uh, over and above traditional batteries. So on the top of the two uh, fuel cell stacks, they, they need oxygen, uh, which is from the air, which is what the fans help. And underneath is the hydrogen. So the hydrogen and the oxygen run across the fuel cell plates and produce electricity. So the main problem with uh, current battery technology on drones is that this flight time. You get around 15 minutes and then you have to recharge the battery for a number of hours. And with fuel cell technology that we now have put on board, the flight times are significantly increased up to between an hour and two hours and no need to recharge the battery. All you need to do is change the fuel source and that takes around a minute. Drones are potentially a very good use for hydrogen. Um, in most cases, using a fuel cell on hydrogen is going to be more complicated, more difficult than using a battery. So if you've got something very straight, what we'd call a straightforward uh, application, so short range, not very big payload, then you will use a battery. It's cheaper, it's easier. Um, if you're trying to do a longer duration, uh, if you've got a bigger payload, uh, you, might reach the, you might reach the limits of where battery technology is now and where it probably will be in a few years and you'll say, okay, it's actually worth the extra complexity of bringing in the fuel cell, uh, which is essentially a sister technology to a battery. Essentially hydrogen is no more or no less dangerous than a whole load of other things we use every day. If somebody was to come along and say to you, I've invented this amazing thing, it does 90 miles an hour and it's got a tank of petrol under it, you would ban it immediately. Right? But we're familiar, we know how to deal with it, uh, both in terms of the safety systems on a vehicle and our response teams. Um, so hydrogen is no different to that. It's starting now to hit the market in different areas. Um, we've seen uh, car companies have now released fuel cell vehicles. Um, there are stationary power applications where fuel cells are providing backup power to things like mobile phone towers or, or for generators generally. Um, and now where we're going is we're, we're looking at different applications, um, obviously in drones, uh, in phones. We are in the, the automotive market also.